are going to go through an interior rendering of this bathroom right here. So first off, I already have a surface here and this is gonna serve us as flooring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the F key in SketchUp and I'm going to select the surface and I'm gonna offset it to the outside. So now we're already gonna have a wall selected here. I'm gonna create a surface just for the window, just that way it is easier to be modeled later on. Uh, obviously I don't have exact measurements of the space. First, I'm gonna make this, um, so I'm gonna extrude this up for 280 centimeters. And then this is gonna be closed off at like uh, another 30 right here. So something like this. I'm pretty confident that it's gonna work out in terms of scale. You can increase it in size towards this side and yeah, the wall can go back to the way it was before. So next up, what we will need to do here is we're gonna need to add another part of the wall uh, right next to the window. I guess I'm just gonna add this a little bit here, something like this. Next up, I'm gonna to go to the SketchUp Warehouse and I'm gonna search for a bathtub. I'm gonna type in bathtub. I think this one is gonna be good enough. I mean, I'm not looking to be 100% precise in terms of the modelings. Anyway, one other thing that I noticed as well is that this part of the shower is a bit deeper, I guess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this and let me just do something like this. I'm going to push pull this inside. Um, I'm going to select this downwards as well. Or maybe yeah, I can just do something like this. Okay, so let's push pull this upwards once again. And I'm going to close this off on this side. I think the frame is gonna be somewhere around where the bathtub begins, right? I think something like that. And I'm gonna take this off for now. I'm gonna extrude this for like three centimeters. I'm gonna group this up. And then what we have here is basically two glasses, uh, the framing of the actual door and this part as well. So I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna go inside the group, I'm gonna offset this in because it's gonna be a lot faster to just extrude this upwards for the actual glass. And in order to not waste time and just have a clear idea of the baseline of the model that we have right now, I'm gonna go ahead into the glass and mirrors and I'm gonna select this type of glass and I'm gonna paste it right on top of our uh, shower, I guess, glass walls, I would call them, or uh, even glass doors. Now this part, I'm gonna open it up like this. I'm gonna go inside for a little bit. And does this have any framing? Yes, it does. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the, or maybe I'm just gonna go inside like this, push pull this inside and um, yeah, maybe let's just do 0 0.5 centimeters on the outside, just to kind of tell a difference and give it a bit more depth. I think that's an all right detail. Type in, bathroom vanity so we're gonna need to find a vanity something like this can work if you only take this part right i think so if you only take this part and not download uh the i mean not use the shelves then i guess that can work so i'm going to download it move it towards our wall and i think that's going to work fine once again as a baseline let me go here at the warehouse um let me type in toilet i'm probably going to go for this one so I'm gonna rotate this, and one thing that we're gonna have to take care of as well is the composition right after I find the windows and a lot of the other parts as well, because we also have to uh, arrange these in the same, almost kind of similar uh, distances between each other, and we can do that best when we are in the composition phase. I'm gonna move this from this side to over here. And wait, this needs to be wider as well. So I'm gonna go inside, push pull this all the way to the end. Then I'm gonna do the same for this surface as well. Push pull this as well up to here. And yeah, move it up here. And let's just increase the scale. I guess something like this can work fine. It doesn't have to be the exact same one.
first off, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to set up the composition. So I will go first step at the visual settings. I'm going to go to the output. And the first thing that I'm going to fix is the aspect ratio. And I'm going to do that by going to the resolution into custom. And right here, I'm going to set up the resolution as 1080 by 1350. And this will set up for us a four by five aspect ratio. And then I'm going to move on to the main area here. And I'm going to make the field of view into 65. And um, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and aim for something very similar to this. So one thing that I noticed immediately is that this shower should be slimmer and this should be increased. However, we're going to take care of all of that a bit later on. So let me see how this works like. Uh, I think we're going to need to increase the field of view at something like this. So 70 and then let's do the two point perspective. Let's go to ultra in terms of fair quality. I think something like this will work, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And I'm going to go to camera one and I'm going to save it. So this is going to be as one of um, the set points of our composition. So this is where we actually make the corrections uh, in terms of the whole composition of the image. As I said, we just aimed for a baseline previously. And now what we're going to need to do is uh, I'm going to need to increase the size of this bathtub. So I guess something like this is pretty similar. Uh, there might be some parts that are not super correct in terms of the modeling. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Uh, we're going to move forward now. I think the toilet also needs to be increased in size. Maybe not as big, but something like this. And it also needs to be fully wide, but I'm going to take care of that later on. In terms of the composition, we have fixed some stuff as of now. I'm going to need to add something in like I'm going to need to make this uh, as a real slab. So let me select it up to something like this. And let me push pull this all the way over here. And on this side, because uh, as you were noticing probably previously, there was some light coming in from the underside. Yeah, that's just a bug that happens with Sketchpad Enscape. Uh, what else can we do to improve the image right now? I think I'm gonna go to the visual settings. I'm gonna turn off the sun brightness completely. And now I think we can move to some of the materials. So first off, let me try and find some uh, tiles. I think I have a file from a while back render that I created that does have tiles that are closer to what we have here. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select that material and I'm going to apply it. Let me see if I can do that. Let me try and copy. Now I'm going to apply the material here and the division lines. I think I'm going to have to draw them manually. There's probably extensions that can do this faster in SketchUp. However, as most of you know, I never care enough to use them because, um, yeah, I just I just do not spend a lot of time modeling myself, to be honest. And I never went too deep into uh, learning all of the best kind of most efficient ways of using SketchUp, which I guess I should have. But yeah, that, that's just not me as of now. Perfect. Three millimeters for the gaps. I think I already did three millimeters for the gaps, right? Yeah, it's exactly three millimeters. Let me go inside here. Uh, I'm going to use a rectangle tool and let me do the gaps once again. Three millimeters. Where else do we have a line here? This is going to take some time, but I guess it's going to be worth it because at the end, it's definitely going to make the renders look better when applying this sketchup doesn't crash good now i'm going to take this spotlight i'm going to duplicate it by five times downwards and i'm going to duplicate it by six times horizontally and i'm going to group these light sources and i'm going to go inside this one and i'm going to increase the luminous intensity well one thing that i would say is i don't want the light this directed so maybe what I will do is let's just move this light source out of the way first. Let's try to see how it will look like if I add a rectangular light source right here. Watch Enscape crash in three, two, one. Okay, good. It didn't. Uh, I'm going to move this upwards. Let me select this. 
from this side up to here. Let me increase the luminous power. I think something like this looks a little bit better. One thing that I will do is I'm going to go ahead here and add an easier eye because I definitely want a brighter background. So the lighting right now, honestly, it looks very natural to me. Next step, let's tweak the materials. I'm going to select this. This needs to have the same material as uh, the toilet. And this needs to have the same material as the toilet. So this but this needs to be stainless steel. Enscape material, library, and let me go to metals. Steel brushed works fine. So I'm gonna import this. I'm gonna add it right here. And then I'm gonna do, if I take this off and decrease the roughness even more. Let's do 10%. I'm gonna apply the same material on the shower, uh, not on everything. I might just select this and yeah, metal, silver. Then this uh, wood material needs to be darker. So let me decrease the saturation a bit. So even darker. Something like this works fine. Okay, so the top, even the countertop, or I mean, it's not the countertop, but even this top part is in wood. Let's keep it that way. So I'm gonna go inside here. Well, not the whole wall, come on. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna go to the Enski Material Editor. I'm gonna select it, and let's go for the roughness at like 30%. Okay, perfect. Let me go to the Enski Material Library once again. Let's go to Plaster. Let me select plaster 05. I'm gonna apply plaster material, material in the ceiling here. I think I'm gonna apply the tile material onto uh, this framing over here as well. Let me see if I can find better tiles for the bathroom. Something like this and a lot bigger. Not this big, but maybe something like this. Go to the sketcher warehouse and I'm gonna type in recessed light. And I'm just gonna take this. This is way too big. No one's ever gonna need that big of spotlight pool let's move this downwards a bit uh vertically is it is this glued unglue good perfect now i can apply this color so if i go to colors let me just choose for example this one i can apply this color then i can go to the nsk material editor and i'm going to go to self illuminated and as you can see now that is uh, lit up now, one thing that we're going to need as well is, uh, let me just draw a rectangular line. Let me first save the file. Um, yeah, I'll just add the spotlight as of now. Let me load an IES first of all. I'm just going to load an IES. Uh, now, I'm going to need to go inside here. Let me increase the luminous intensity. That's a bit too much. I'm going to type in bathroom bathroom accessories we can use some of those those are too many but i guess we can just delete the ones that we don't need i'm going to rotate it like this let's move this forward again and let me see how this looks uh enscape has been working weird lately but there we go it worked finally i guess we can leave something like that and that more accessories near them mm, yeah this one will look good cool let me rotate it bathroom rug let's try this out i know this is too big i'm gonna make it smaller in just a second let me just import it first this is gonna need to be a lot smaller and also the it should be more realistic this way let me try and find something here what kind of carpet can i try out let me try this one yeah i'm gonna add it right here on top of the toilet I'm going to go to visual settings. I'm going to take a final look at them and let's see the exposure. Maybe we can keep it something like this. I think this looks fine. Um, depth of field, we're going to add some depth of field just to, to kind of add a little bit more uh, emphasis in some parts of the composition. I'm going to go to the image, auto contrast, saturation. What if we increase it a bit? Yeah, I think that looks fine. Uh, color temperature. I don't think there's any need to play around with that. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks okay. Motion blur, lens flare, we don't need these. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. An image like this can definitely work. 